In this video, we're going to be talking about how powerful is Senitsu. Thunderclap and flash! When Senitsu is asleep, he unleashes the full might of thunder breathing. Well, at least the first form at the beginning. This technique transforms him into a lightning fast warrior. Thunder breathing turns its users into human lightning bolts, granting immense speed and strength at the cost of great physical extortion. Unlike other breathing styles, it focuses on channeling breathing through leg muscles for explosive power and agility, accompanied by crackling lightning effects in its techniques. Senitsu primarily uses the thunderclap and flash technique in most fights. We first see Senitsu go to work when he was fighting that demon in Susumi Mansion. Using thunder breathing first form thunderclap and flash and then again fighting the spider boy from Rui's spider family. But we all know those demons were not as strong as an upper rank. But in the entertainment district, Senitsu was able to go toe to toe with Daki along with Inosuke and able to behead her using a new variation of thunder breathing thunderclap and flash godlike speed except for his encounter with Kaigaku where he unveils thunder breathing seventh form Hono Ikasuji no Kami. This move swiftly decapitates Haikagu shocking him and revealing Senitsu's hidden powers. Even Kaigaku acknowledges Senitsu's strength and curses his mentor for teaching him such a deadly technique. Senitsu later tells Kaigaku that he made up the seventh form. Senitsu's ability is undeniable. He's a skilled swordsman capable of defeating formidable demons while unconscious, yet his fear often hinders him from fully utilizing his power while awake. Senitsu being the only one to defeat an upper rank by himself without any help or a demon slayer mark shows Senitsu is able to adapt and get stronger with more experience. This raises the question about the true potential of thunder breathing if Senitsu could overcome his limitations.